What is up? Welcome to Talent Scout Reacts. My name is Ryan, former Talent Scout, Indie Major Labels, current music management agency owner here with another banger. We've got Crystal Lake for the first time on the channel. However, I've listened to a lot of their music in the past. Aeon, Eon, however you pronounce it, A-E-O-N. That is by far my favorite track of theirs and maybe my favorite track of, uh, what was that, 2018 that they came out with. It's just the video and everything was just like phenomenal. I've dived into some of their other stuff. It's not, they're really like good at doing a bunch of different things and making it still sound like Crystal Lake the entire time because they have a lot of different like subgenres they add in their music that aren't necessarily just metalcore, just deathcore, just what progressive, whatever. They like do a really good job of adding a bunch of stuff, even like all in one song, which is really neat. If you've listened to this band for a while, I do have one question. I've tried to look it up forever. Uh, where did they get their name? Because they're from Japan and they're very, you know, invested in the Japanese culture. You look at their social media and it's it, everything is a part of that, which is awesome. Crystal Lake, to me, sounds like a street in a suburban neighborhood. So I really don't know what, uh, you know, where that came from. So if you know, let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious. But uh, without wasting any more time, I just want to check this out. And I'm expecting heavy. I'm expecting awesome. And they do probably better than anybody else. Their production quality is just above and beyond everybody else. So uh, let's check out Crystal Lake, Curse, let's go. I love that punchy clean guitar. It already feels epic. There's Ryo. Okay. Feels like it's going to be very melodic and big. Nice big weed bass, man. Okay. Ooh. There's a lot going on here. I'm trying to take it all in. Well, that's really cool with the video, how they did that. So it's an interesting way of doing a sing scream, whereas it's layered rather than being one mechanical function. Ooh. See, when you think it's melodic, it's no longer melodic. But it still is. That that ambience at the top still makes it that way. It's not a fast song, but it feels that way. There's just so much coming at you. I love the vocals. It feels kind of retro, but it works for this track. Not here, I love this. They have an uncanny ability of sounding heavy and melodic at the same time. A lot of bands don't, can't really capture that sound. I'm sensing either a solo or a breakdown but I don't know for sure. Unless it's just an interlude and I'm wrong. Ooh, the harmonies are really nice there. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got the face. Where are we going? Jesus. Come on. Come on. His lows are... Mm. Ooh, okay. So, melodic breakdown. That was it? Oh, Jesus. I was not ready for that to be it. Okay, Crystal Lake. That was a lot in my face at once. Huh. Um... 
I don't know. Again, three minutes and 18 seconds. This is a short song. Is this a new thing? People are really into these really short songs now. I want more. And I don't know if this is becoming an intentional marketing ploy where I want more. I'm going to check out the album. It makes sense. But damn, like this was really cool in regards to one mixing melodic and heavy at the same time. It wasn't like their heaviest track by any means, but it really like again fused a lot of sounds together that a lot of bands have a hard time fusing together so that was really cool the video and again they do some sick videos this one was like really introspective uh, there wasn't a storyline or anything but you you could tell that what they did as a band was the storyline which i really appreciate um <laughs> the the cleans again i said they were a little retro sounding i got like all that remains in Trivium vibes from the Cleans, uh, which is something I haven't heard in a long time, obviously. And Ryo has such a good, versatile tool shed of things he can do vocally. So it was cool to see that he could do that too, because he can do everything else. Uh, I knew Breakdown was coming because he's got the scary face, and he always does the scary face. And like it's like you want to know what the fuck he's thinking because it's like possessive but in a dope way and he came in there and that breakdown was like very it was extremely modern it was wasn't punchy or like super heavy but it like kept in like an elongated pattern which is really cool and you can always do a lot of like top end stuff on those kind of breakdowns so very like i guess the best way to describe the song is introspective it it was it was entranced you know, it was very melodic and it made you think about stuff. I don't really have a better way to describe it, but it's really good. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share if you're enjoying the content. And again, please let me know where Crystal Lake got their name because I'm super uh, curious and apparently bad at Google. So uh, with that being said, as always, have a nice life.